Hi, I am Pastor Rich Warnicky from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and welcome to our Friday devotion. I think one of the things that people enjoy doing is watching people. We go to a Brewers game and sometimes find ourselves watching people. We go to State Fair to enjoy food and often to people watch. We might even go on vacation, like hit a beach, just to watch people. Often when we watch people, we note various characteristics. We see how tall people are, how short people are, how they gather around certain people, or if they're all by themselves. We notice gender, we notice skin color, we notice many different things about people, and sometimes even look at people comparing them to ourselves. Sometimes thinking to ourselves, well, I have better traits, characteristics, and qualities than some people do. God invites us to look at people through Jesus' eyes. Jesus, when he looks at people, doesn't see age. He doesn't see economic value. He doesn't see their physical abilities. He doesn't see their mental abilities. He doesn't see skin color. He simply sees people that need help, people that are sinners, but who are loved by God. So much so that he gave up his throne in heaven to come down into this world to live a perfect life for all people and to take their sins upon himself, to suffer and die in their place so that we could have oneness with God. The Bible says Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for all people's sins. The Apostle Paul encourages these Christians in Corinth and also you and me today to look at people the way Jesus looks at people, not from a worldly point of view. The Apostle Paul said at one time, he literally looked at Jesus through a worldly point of view as a loser, as a blasphemer, as a person who needed to be destroyed and killed, even followers of Jesus. They needed to be rounded up, put on trial and killed. But after Jesus came to him with his word, he had a change of heart. He looks at Jesus differently. He looks at people differently. He looks at life differently. He even looks at himself differently. At one time, he thought he was the Pharisee of Pharisees, that he could earn his own way to heaven, and he didn't need a Savior. But after he met Jesus, and Jesus, with God's word, opened his heart to believe that Jesus was his Savior, he realized he was a sinner and he needed help, and that Jesus was his Savior. Oh Lord, give us that heart that looks at ourselves and people through your eyes, and then use us to share this wonderful message of reconciliation with God to all people, because you have paid for all people's sins. There's just a lot of people that do not know that yet. You have credited our account with your holiness by faith in Jesus. There's not a lot of people who believe that yet because God's word hasn't opened their heart to Jesus as their Savior. Lord, use us and give us that heavenly point of view to all people. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 21. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view, Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do, so, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us this ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us this message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Until next time.